Laura Cornelius and these are your highlights from day six of live cross-conference action from a GPL Las Vegas Summer Series. Today it was Timothy Adams of the Rome Emperors versus Kevin McPhee of the New York Rounders. McPhee took the lead in the first game of the three for the Rounders. Adams left with around 20 big blinds when hand 30 hit and he flopped a pair of threes against McPhee's pocket queens. It then brought him down to just five big blinds, but in the next two hands, the Rome Emperor managed to luckily double up to bring them back to evens. Tim then took the lead for the first time in the match, but McPhee turned it around for New York and by hand 57, McPhee had another chance to win, but Adams doubled up once again. Let's do it. Oh, oh my gosh, this there is a 10. Winning when all the cards go up. Mitzi power. Four. No, Level five. Four. Five, which is five. King On to game two. two of the pairing and bottom of the Eurasian Conference, Rome Emperors were in desperate need of some points. Hand five saw a great fold from Kevin with top fair versus Tim Adams straight with 5-2. McPhee took a slight lead in the game, but the game soon went back to evens and a lot of hands again were played. Hand 76 was a big cooler, three of a kind for Adams with 9-7 and a full house for McPhee with 9-6. Okay, if he folds here, I'm giving him a five-year contract. <laughs> <laughs> no fold. No fold. No. You can't afford. Wow. That's the call. <laughs> Three on the river. So game number two Whoa. also goes to the New York Rounders. Rounders were on for the sweep, but Emperors were in dire need of some points. In hand five, it was Ace King for Adams and Queen Jack for McPhee, who was able to fold a four-bet pre-flop. It meant that Rome took a lead in the third and final game of the match and they managed to maintain it, Timothy Adams taking the final three points of the match. But it still meant the Emperor stayed in sixth place with 66 points. New York moved from fourth to third place with 93 points.